Welcome back to R Programming 101. Today we're going to talk about types of data. Right? We're going to understand the five most important types of data, and there are others, and we'll allude to that. We're going to talk about how to change the data type for a given variable. So if a particular variable is incorrectly categorized in R as something and it should be something else, we can change that. And we're going to learn about how to add a level to a factor. And what I mean by that is going to make perfect sense as we carry on. So don't go away. If you want to learn about R programming, then you have come to the right place. On this YouTube channel, we're creating R programming videos on everything. We've got four variables here. These are our four major types of data that we're talking about. The first is name. This is nominal data. In R, we're going to call it a character. It's text. The next is height. This is also categorical data, but there's an order to it. It's ordinal data. In R, we're going to call that a factor because we want to give it different levels. Next, age. Here we've got age as a whole number, right? We're going to call in R, we're going to call that an integer. And then next, of course, there's weight. Weight, you could have any number between any of the whole numbers. You can have, So weight can be 75, 75.1, etc., etc. This is going to be a numeric variable, right? So let's have a look at how we can look at that structure and maybe make some changes to the way R has categorized this particular set of variables. So the data frame is an object in our environment called friends, and we can ask R for the structure of that object by putting an str, type in the name of the object, close brackets, command enter, and in the console we can see the structure, and next to each of the names of the variables, we can see R has told us what it thinks that the type of data that particular variable is, right? So next to name, we've got chr, that's character. We're happy with that. Height. It's called it a character, but we know that this is ordinal data. We want this to be called a factor, so we're going to change that. Age and weight are both called numerics. Now, we said that numeric, when R uses the term numeric, it means a continuous data, uh, a continuous variable. We want age to be an integer, right? So weight, we're going to leave it numeric. Age, we're going to change to integer. So let's take a look at how to do that. To change the data type for the variable height from a character to a factor, we use the command or the function as factor, right? And in the brackets, we tell R what it should change, right? So we want to take, we want to take the data frame friends, and within which we want to extract the variable height. And that line of code will do the trick, except we need to assign it to something. In other words, if we put our little arrow over there and we say friends height, we're saying assign all of this to the variable height in the data frame friends. In other words, overwrite what is there at the moment. And if we push enter and rerun the first line of code asking for the structure, we can see height is now a factor. And similarly, we can take uh, the data frame friends, extract the variable age, and we want to say as integer friends age. And that will change, let's run the first line of code again, age into an integer. So our variable height is a factor. That means it's a categorical ordinal variable. It's, it's a categorical variable where the categories have an order. Okay, what order does R think the category should be in? Well, we can ask R, we can say levels and friends height, enter. And in our console, we'll see that R thinks it should be medium, short, tall. It's just stuck them in alphabetical order. We want it to be short, medium, and tall. So let me show you how to make that change. So to change the levels of the height variable, this is what we do, all right? So again, we start off with saying we, we're working with the dot frame friends. We're working with the variable height. We're going to assign to that. Now, we don't say as factor. We say factor, all right? So leave out the as. Open brackets. Again, tell it what you're working with. Friends, height, right? Now we can say, and I'm actually going to push shift control one just so that we zoom in on just the source so you can see what I'm doing, right? Um, I'm going to push a comma and I'm going to push enter. Now, R is just going to continue to see this as one line of code. I'm just doing that so you can see what I'm doing. Now we're going to say levels equals C for, for concatenation or combination of, and now we put in the, the order that we want them to be in. All right, so the C stands for concatenation, and that just means whatever's in brackets, it wants to, it, 
it needs to think of them together as one group. Um, and levels, the word levels there is just the second argument that gets applied in this, in this particular uh, uh, instruction or associated with this, with this particular function. Okay, I'm gonna push enter. If we rerun this line of code over here, we're asking for the levels for that variable, we can see that they're short, medium, and tall, just the way we wanted them. So at the beginning of this video, I said we're going to talk about five kinds of variables, and so far we've only talked about four. The fifth kind of variable I want to talk about is called a logical, right? And what it, this is how a logical works. We can ask R a question of, it, of one of the other variables, right? These other variables, we think of them as something called a vector. A vector is a collection of data that's of the same type. So in our data frame, we could ask R which of, uh, of all of these, these people in our data frame which of these are older than the age 23? And we could say, we think of them as old, for example, right? So in our code over here, we could say at the age variable, friends age, and push command enter. We see in the console, we can see, uh, we call that a vector, right? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a collection of, of data of the same type. If we asked the question friends age, and we said, which of those are greater than 23? And we pushed command enter. It, for each of those data points, it asks the question, is this person older or younger than 23? True or false, true or false, true or false. And it gives us a new vector. Um, and this is a logical, it's a true or false. We can assign this, right, to a new variable, right? So we can assign this to uh, friends and we're gonna call it old. Uh, command enter and we can see now we've got a new variable called old it is a logical, it's a true or false. And if we go and ask for class, that's the way we ask of friends old, it's gonna tell us that it's a logical. And again, if we ask for the structure of this data frame, we can see old, the new variable we created, it's called a logical. Now, of course, there are other types of data, for example, time and date data. We're gonna look at those in other videos in the future. These five types of data are the most important ones. These are the ones you're gonna use most often. So if you are serious about learning how to analyze data and you wanna learn R programming, then hit the subscribe button now and hit the little bell notification if you wanna get notified of future videos. Please hang up and try again.